Welcome fellow folders to the first episode of Models I will not be finishing um, and of course I'll explain why I won't be finishing them so I'm not sure if I'll put the name of the model in the title I think I will move this chair I'll probably put the uh, name of the model in the title yeah so you can probably you'll be able to tell from the title what the model is, and it is the clown by I believe Miyamoto Chuya. Can't remember um, the designer's name. If it's wrong, when I check it when I upload, when I edit, and um, I'll add the correct name. But this is the crease pattern, fully pre-creased. Um, I did this about four, four or five years ago when I did the partial pre-crease tutorial for this model, and then did that after it. Now the paper, if you're wondering, is obviously red and white because that's what the designer used and a few other people as well. And the paper I'm using uh, would have used if I folded this model as triple tissue. So it is triple red and then I peeled it off, pre-creased and then painted the other side white, uh, white acrylic because at the time this was the only good method I could think of that I could get a solid colour and white even though it's not perfect but that's the best way I could do it at the time I know better methods now I can make this paper much better but as you can see I have little red bits I missed now the annoying thing is, this took forever to pre-crease and at the time I was so obsessed with um, not making extra creases that I think for this crease pattern was the downfall. Uh, the reason why I decided I was not going to continue it because at the very end of the pre-creasing, which was making these tiny small creases right here they don't line up correctly on the edge let me try and show you, I'm not too sure because uh, where the creases intersect is where the colour change happens and that should happen at the very edge of the paper as you can see we have about 3 millimetres above the edge so it's going to be really weird when you collapse that part and I was super annoyed when that happened because again I did all this work to pre-crease it to get it perfectly and then then that happened so as soon as I realised this would happen which I should have noticed uh, in the beginning of pre-creasing when I made these diagonals I should have noticed that I never did but I went ahead and pre-creased it all um, what's annoying is it's perfect up here but it's not perfect here and this is the part where all the colour changes get seen and then of course from not making all the creases what I mean by that is normally you make the entire grid in this way and then that way so in both directions I was obsessed with uh, leaving the creases uh, to where, they, where they're not so don't make the full grid for instance like the Part that the clown is standing on I didn't make any grid here so like that you want to try and keep the parts that you can see as neat as possible but doing so I didn't have as much creases it didn't help me to make the rest of these creases um, most of them are not neat they're not even perfectly straight so the downfall is not making the entire grid if I were to do it again, I would first of all make sure my square is as close to a perfect square as possible because this uses both diagonals, you want to make sure it's absolutely perfect and then second of all I would make the entire grid, of course stopping it where at the part that the clown stands um, it's not hard to do that from, pre, uh, from the initial pre-creasing which gives you these lines and the, the basic boundary space to not crease and then, oh yeah, this part up here the head is creased perfectly but 
these creases right here. I don't know how well you can see them. These ones just below the neck, or the, the heads here, and then these ones here, these diagonals. Uh, they are completely off, like, as off as I have ever been in pre-creasing. I have no clue how I managed to do that. But yeah, that's the result of not making the full grid, because I have no creases going across this way for practically half of the paper, and then creases here. Um, I could have made these, which um, would have made these much more accurate. Um, and I've got these spot on. But these are way off. These are like really, really off. A good four millimeters off the actual line. And I don't even know if this line is correct because this square is more of a rectangle and this square is a smaller square. So I don't know what is right, what is wrong, where I went wrong. So that is one of the big downfalls of not doing that. You need to be precise or this will happen. And I wasn't a fan of the paper originally. Again, this is the only way I could possibly get a colour a color and white, but it turns out it's too thick. It's not smooth, it feels rough. I wanted perfectly white, but I never got it because there's red blotches all throughout the paper. Um, and it's got that really thick feeling which would have most likely have made the leg really thick because the leg takes up a lot of paper and not having the full grip meaning the instrument that the clown was playing I couldn't like divide this part multiple times half it and then divide it like 32 times and then make little V's to make the, is it an accordion or what, what is it the clown is playing? But anyway, if I did the full grid, I could have creased this perfectly and then it would have collapsed super easily and super neat. And I'm quite annoyed because this took a good month or two to actually pre-crease the entire thing and then paint it so it's definitely a fail in my books. I mean, to my standards, uh, my standards back then was perfect, but now that I look at it, um, having years more experience making paper and colourings, um, it's not great. I mean, it's good for a first try, for a first attempt, but it's not the best. And of course, when painting with acrylic, it's hard to get completely smooth, but I have splotches right here, and that's dollops of acrylic not spread out nice and evenly and so on so I'm quite annoyed by that and I think I've covered everything so that is the that's the reasons why I will not finish this so I'm not sure uh, what to do with this uh, I'm not going to give it away because it ain't to my standards I'm not going to give something that isn't up to my standards to someone else because that's kind of rubbish. Um, so it's been collecting dust for the past four years. And that is it. What should I do with this? Should I do a... Was it Tadash or Joe that burned the model? Should I should I burn this? Get rid of it from existence? Because um, I'm not going to give it away. It's not going to get folded. And it's going to keep collecting dust upstairs. So should I burn it? Let me know in the comments. Um, and... Yeah, I'd actually look forward to doing that. I've never done that before. It looks fun. And I've got a good thing to use it on. So, yeah, that is it. Um, let me know what I should do with this in the comments. And I will see you in the next video.